Joining us now from Canberra is the former Resources Minister, Keith Pitt, a Nationals MP from Queensland. Thanks for joining us, Keith. A big day for Queensland. You've got uh, the Opposition Leader and the Deputy Opposition Leader, uh, both from uh, the Sunshine State. Uh, well, it's great to be with you, Chris, and uh, you know, welcome to Fortress Queensland. Uh, to get described as a former minister, I'm a former electrician and former farmer and a former engineer and a former business owner. It's, there's a lot of formers. Uh, but look, mate, the democratic process has shone through. I congratulate both of the new leaders in the Liberal Party and the National Party. Uh, mate, as I said publicly, I always support the leader and I supported the last one and the one before and the one before that. And I'll support the new one. You had a pretty long party room meeting. What went on there? Chris, you know the convention for us is we don't discuss what happened in party room, uh, but you know, quite clearly it took some time. Uh, but we now have a, a very strong deputy in Perrin Davey. I've got a lot of time for Perrin. I, I did a lot of work with her, particularly around water in the Murray-Darling. In the previous portfolio, uh, she's experienced, she knows her stuff and she'll do a great job. Well, we're seeing in that picture now Bridget McKenzie there uh, on the right. Now, Bridget McKenzie is a senator. She's the leader of the Nationals in the Senate. So why isn't she the deputy? Why do you have another senator in Perrin Davey who's the deputy leader of the party? Who ranks, outranks between those two then, the Senate leader and the deputy leader, both in the Senate? Oh, Chris, I've never professed to understand the black magic of the Senate uh, for someone that sits in the House of Reps, where it's pretty straightforward. Uh, we have a debate and a vote uh, in the Senate, as you know. They, uh, they do a lot of talking and a lot of talking and some more talking, uh, but it is the House of Review, and I'll, I'll leave them to their own deliberations uh, but that's basically done uh, by a ballot for the Senate leadership by the Senate team uh, and the deputy leadership is by the entire Nationals party room. Hmm, very, very interesting, isn't it? You've sort of got um, a double header there with uh, Senator Davey and Senator McKenzie. Uh, do you understand, though, who will outrank those two? I mean, for instance, when it comes to choosing portfolios, normally the deputy chooses their own portfolio. Will uh, the Senate leader also be accorded that right? Uh, well, I'm not a member of the leadership team, Chris. I'll leave it to them to fight those things out. <clears throat> but, right, look, to be honest, it's picking over the, the crumbs of opposition. Uh, we're, we're here to stand up for the people we represent, the ones that voted and sent us to Canberra to fight for them. That's what I'll be focused on. It's what matters to the people that I represent uh, and why they send me uh, and have for a fourth term.